Today I have to make a tabletop and uh, I'm making a kitchen island and I want to edge glue stuff but I don't want to really use a biscuit joiner because I don't feel like it has a lot of structural stability to it and I don't think it lines it up that well anyways. Um, what I'm going to be using is this thing. Um, it's sort of a cross between a biscuit joiner and a domino. It's a lot cheaper than a domino, but I think it's a lot stronger than a biscuit joiner. This is a this... Triton Dowling joiner. It has kind of a similar setup to a biscuit joiner in that it has a handle. It's got this top plate that rests on the top of the wood. Um, it has kind of a targeting system here. Um, dowels are really strong ways of joining wood, especially on edge gluing and, I mean, doing butt joints is great that way too, but, um, I, I recommend this. I don't, I don't do a lot of tabletops, but every time I've done them, I've used this. Um, whenever I've had to do panel work, I, I'll just usually just do, um, basic edge gluing because modern glue is so strong that, um, the wood will often break before the glue's the the uh, glue seam will so this is just when I want it to be extra strong for something like a tabletop so since I haven't done a lot of tabletops lately um, I am going to uh, I'm gonna be making a walnut kitchen island and it's gonna be about three foot wide by six feet long and I want to practice on some scrap Walnut do similar to a biscuit joiner or a domino is you're gonna make a little mark that kind of connects the two pieces of wood and this is going to be your target for the Triton and I'll show that in a in a second once I figure out how to do this with one hand okay I don't know whether you can see those targets but um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna line that middle dot up with your mark right there um, and you're going to just push in as you, I mean, you're going to pull the trigger and push in and it's going to, it's going to retract this and these two drill bits are going to come out and they're going to drill right into the edge, right? Like that. And then you'll do it to the other, the other piece over here. And theoretically it'll all line up and you'll have space to put two dowels that will connect it. Now you don't need to use both dowels. You'll have holes for two, but you don't necessarily need one. I mean, need both of them. You can just put one in. What I do is I'll put one here, one here, and one here, and then I'll just usually just use one dowel on each hole, each set of holes. Okay, so it's gonna be really hard for me to do this with, with both hands. So what you do is you put this up against here, you put your hand on this thing and hold it tight and then you push in you push that direction in and it'll just drill in if anyone that's used a domino or a biscuit joiner will will know the feeling it'll go in and then you'll pull it back out and inspect your wood i always recommend doing it on practice pieces of wood similar to the wood you're going to be using so you have the right depth Right, so I just did it and it made some really nice clean holes and uh, that's one of the things I think that's really cool about this they're really well spaced and clean holes and they don't go in at a weird angle like you would with a uh, one of those cheap dowel jigs now with the more expensive ones I'm not going to talk about but the cheap ones this does a much better job okay I got the first one cut I got the second one and I put some dowels in there. They're 5 16 inch dowels. And then I'll show you what they look like pushed together here. But basically, it just slides together. I mean, it's hard to do this with one hand, so I'll quick tap it together and then show you. All right, and then it holds pretty well. That's, that's just pushed in by hand. And uh, it's just holding right off the side there. What you do is you just edge glue it. I usually put one in each one. I don't usually put one in each, both of them. Um, and I'll put one at 
a spot here, a spot here, and a spot here, and it's usually enough to hold the the whole thing together. And then, you know, edge glue it, and the glue is what does all the work. This is just adding a little extra stability. So a couple final thoughts. I would uh, I'd recommend this tool. It's about, I don't know, I think you can get it for like 200 bucks. It's definitely better than a biscuit joiner. It is not a replacement for a domino, but I have not found a reason to spend over a thousand dollars for a domino. So I have made do with this one or I just edge glue. Remember, you don't always need a fancy tool just to get the job done. You can make your own dowling jig. You can just edge glue. Um, you can try a biscuit uh, a biscuit joiner for a lot less money. Um, I would say if you have an extra 200 bucks and you're going to use it more than I do. I mean, this one collects a little dust on, for me. I'm, I'm, I'm just being completely honest here, but when I do use it, I, I, I remember the work I had to do up front to sort of tweak it a little and make it better than it was out of the box. I'll try to find the link that I used to, um, to in the description uh, to, uh, tweak it. But, uh, I think, you know, I think you're going to be happier with this than you would with a biscuit joiner. It's definitely not going to be better than a domino, though.